Indeed, one of the pivotal moments in the development of Apple's graphical user interface, GUI, can be traced back to Steve Jobs' visit to Xerox's Palo Alto Research Center, PRC, in the late 1970s. During his visit, Jobs and his team were exposed to a number of innovative technologies and concepts, including the GUI, which had a profound impact on the direction of Apple's future products. At Xerox Park, Jobs encountered the Alto, a pioneering computer system that featured a graphical user interface, mouse input, and a desktop metaphor. The GUI allowed users to interact with the computer using icons, windows, and a pointing device, mouse, which was a significant departure from the text-based command line interfaces that were common at the time. Jobs recognized the potential of the GUI and was impressed by its user-friendly and intuitive nature. He saw how this technology could make computing more accessible to a wider audience, aligning with his vision for Apple's products. While Xerox had developed these concepts, they hadn't fully realized their commercial potential. After his visit to Xerox Park, Jobs and his team at Apple began working on the Lisa project, which aimed to create a personal computer with a GUI and other innovative features. The Lisa project was costly and complex, and while it wasn't a commercial success, it laid the groundwork for the development of the Macintosh. The Macintosh, launched in 1984, was the culmination of Jobs' fascination with the GUI and his commitment to making computing more user-friendly. It incorporated many of the concepts he had observed at Xerox Park, but Apple refined and packaged them in a way that resonated with consumers. The Macintosh's GUI, along with its iconic 1984 Super Bowl commercial, positioned it as a revolutionary product that challenged the status quo of computing. While Jobs' visit to Xerox Park was instrumental in inspiring the development of Apple's GUI-based products, it's important to note that innovation often builds upon the ideas and concepts of others. The breakthroughs at Xerox Park provided a foundation upon which Apple and other companies further refined and popularized graphical user interfaces, leading to the widespread adoption of this technology in modern computing.